Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, man, and look at what is going on in the market, guys. Michael Burry is betting against Kathy Wood, aka Tesla, aka ARK Innovation ETF. Guys, this is crazy news. Michael Burry is going all in. Guys, we gotta talk about this right now, man. Remember, Michael Burry's claim to fame was in the big short, man, so... You have to understand his mindset. His mindset in this is so important. He is still riding on the wave of the big short movie, what he did in 2008. He called the market crash for the housing market. He called it, guys. So in my opinion, I think he needs another claim to fame. This is the perfect opposition for him. Can you imagine what would happen if Michael Burry... 2021 2022 takes down Kathy Wood and Elon Musk at the same time guys he would be put on investment like Hall of Fame like he'd be like the front and center he'd be like just as big as, like he is just as big as Warren Buffett but man he might be right, right beside like he might be the like almost the new GOAT can you imagine what will happen if he actually bets big and wins like a lot a lot a lot of money billions Man, this is crazy, man. Let's get into this video, man. So, Michael Burry of the Big Short is betting against R. Kathy Woods. Uh, filing on Monday, Burry disclosed that his firm, Scion Asset Management, held the bearish put options against 235,000 shares of Woods' actively managed ARK Innovation Exchange traded fund. At the end of the second quarter, the new position has valued at almost $31 million, according to the quarterly filing, which is required to... Uh, required for hedge funds above a certain size. A put contract gives sign on the right to sell shares in the ETF at a previously agreed price before a certain date. If ARK Innovation shares drop below the threshold before the options expire, the hedge funds can sell the shares for a profit. And this what it is, guys. What? Okay, guys, tell me what you guys think. How long do you think these put options are out for? I'm thinking, I'm giving this like at least two to like. A, like two to three years or something like that like Michael Burry he's playing the long game he's gonna kind of basically time Kathy out of the market guys we understand how the market rolls guys 2020 was the market was so freaking hot it was steaming hot everyone is making 80 90 percent in the market Michael Burry is smart enough to know where we are in the market cycle Referring back to Howard Marks, guys, we're in like the eighth, nine inning. Like, let's be honest, we are in the eighth or nine in a, uh, inning, waiting for a market crash, waiting for some kind of crash to happen. How long can Kathy Woods get 80, 90 percent gains? That's like, she would be a god if she can just continue that streak. So, Michael Burry betting against Kathy Wood isn't like crazy shocking, like. It makes sense that Kathy Wood's streak cannot continue, especially because a lot of her stocks that she invests in either have extremely high evaluations that can't just continue to go up and up, or a lot of the companies don't even earn money. So we gotta look at it in that point of view because, guys, everyone says like the old metrics don't matter anymore, that stuff doesn't matter, and every time someone says that, everything comes to roast again. The market reinforms tells you again that no the price prices matter valuations matter it always comes down to valuation and if the company can keep up with that valuation so i am not shocked so bari isn't the only investor betting on the price of arc innovation will fall the volume of put options traded on etf is rising so a lot of people are seeing the same things a lot of hedge funds are seeing the thing, same things you don't think people are talking about how Kathy Woods is like a star. She's in the media. She's in the limelight. People are going to bet against her because we understand how the market cycle runs. So while the short interest of the ETF recently reached a record high, there is even a short ARK ETF in the filing. This is new. This is a new short ARK ETF, man. That if you prove by the Securities Exchange Commission will allow retail investors, those who can't sell shorts on trade options directly to make bearish bets against Kathy Woods, man. Guys, I know you, everyone loves Kathy, Wood, uh, Kathy Woods. People love what she does. I think she, she did an amazing job so far. But, man, like, oh, man, the news is out. Like, the, 
the, the, the painting is on the wall right now, man. Like, how long can she survive for, guys? We are going to go into her stocks, her top at least 5, 10 stocks, and see what I'm talking about and see how these... Let's see if the fundamentals of the company, because, guys, the fundamentals of the company matters. Like, you have to really think about it. The fundamentals of the, of the company will follow the stock, generally, over time, over 5 to 10 years. So we have to put that in perspective when we're thinking about Kathy Woods. So let's get into it. But before that, we understand Kathy Woods has been struggling this year. I think she's probably down like, uh, like 10, 15 percent from like all time highs, maybe. Um, and there's a lot of like inflows and outflows. Like she hasn't been as consistent as before. So take that into account. So let's look at Arc Innovations' uh, top holdings. So here we go, guys. So look, Tesla. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Michael Bory is doing a two-for-one. Can you imagine if he takes down Elon Musk and Kathy Wood at the same time? He will be he will be on, like, um, investing holy grail of the holy grail of the holy grail. Like, those are the two most favorite people. Like, we all know, like, this year as just, like, the Michael Burry takedown. He's trying to reclaim his fame again. Like... It was just people just saying, oh, 2008, what he did in the Big Short was just a one-off. Like, he just got lucky. So he's trying to claim his fame again. Tell me what you think. You think he'll do it? I don't know, guys. Man, guys, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. There's so much content I'm going to be giving you. So let's go. So, like, Tesla, 10%. Tesla hasn't been, we all know, Tesla hasn't been doing good this year. It's down probably, like, 8% around that. Teladoc. Look at, look at Teladoc. One year. It was at $290. 52% drop already, guys. And I don't, like, I'm going to be honest. I don't know the future of Teladoc. I haven't researched the company. I don't know what it's going to do in the future. I'm not sure how good the fundamentals are, but they don't earn money right now. They're, they're losing money, so I'm not sure how good the, their projections are, but that's what she likes. She likes to buy these companies that have no earnings or just high to PE ratios. Look at Tesla. $358, man, like, whew, 350, I mean, 358 PE, guys, that is just, like, shocking, like, we love Tesla, we, like, Tesla is the future, we all know that, but guys, fundamentals are gonna matter at the end of the day, like, how long can Tesla run, like, can it go 10 years sustaining a high, uh, multiple like this, like, 10 years in the future, maybe is it the next amazon they are doing so many great things the only problem i have is just it's such a capital intensive um company and every time a new model comes out for the tesla it kind of screws up the old model of the tesla you see what i'm trying to say because they're all kind of little similar so i don't know man like we'll see then we get to what's their next one they got coinbase they got zoom unity Look at, look at Coinbase. Coinbase, 109. <laughs> like, what has it done in a year? Look what it started. $342, 26% drop. So you see you see kind of the trend of what's happening right now. Like, these high PE companies that are don't have earnings, that are garnered by mostly retail investors, how long are these retail investors going to put all their money into these stocks? The fundamentals are going to matter sooner or later. Because when that market crashes, guys, the, the retail investors are not going to be looking at these Coinbase, uh, Teladoc, Teslas. They're not. They're going to be running for the hills. And that's what Michael Burry is betting on. Guys, tell me what you think. You think Michael Burry's going to win this battle? Kathy Woods or Elon? Like, who's going to win this battle? I want to know. I want your opinion, guys. Tell me what's up. Guys, if you like this video, like it. Subscribe to my channel. Get back to you in the next video. Peace.